Hi there, how are you all doing guys? Uh, this is Teacher Luis and uh, today I'm gonna make the third video for unit number three. This is a free talk number three and we're gonna be talking about all the most important topics and questions for unit number three. And as I was telling you, the idea is, is that you get a little bit more practice to get used to the questions and to be ready and prepared to give an automatic fluent and a spontaneous answer when you're talking about your uh, about your health about your eating habits about the things that you're doing to stay in shape all right so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you right away the, the topics the grammar topics and the communicative skills that we're gonna be reviewing for unit number three all right uh, wait a minute Okay, so we're going to be talking uh, about the unit number three, book two from the Touchstone series. The general uh, topics for, from this unit is about health. And in unit three, you learn how to use the simple present and present continuous. Remember that we use the simple present to talk about routine or things that happened over time, right, that we usually do on a daily basis, that the things that are repetitive or that we do day to day. And the present continuous, we can use it to, to describe or to talk about those things that we are doing at the moment of speaking or that, that are happening just about now, these days, currently, all right, nowadays. We use the, the present continuous to talk about those things. The second point is the use of if and when in statements and questions, right? Then we're going to talk about health, remedies, sleep habits, and stress, right? What do you take when you uh, get, a, get, a, get a call or have a headache or when you are stressed? How do you cope with the stress? We're going to be talking about that. And point number four is encourage people to talk, to talk by making comments and asking follow-up questions, all right? How to ask open questions to encourage the, the, the person you're talking to to talk a little bit more, all right? So that's it. Uh, I'm going to start by asking you the same questions that we have throughout unit number three, you see? I'm going to be using the same book that you have, book number two, unit three, and I'm going to be making like a compilation of the most uh, important questions for every unit. The idea is not that you learn the answers by heart, that you learn, you memorize the answers. The, the idea is that you get used to the questions, so please after you hear the question, after you listen to the question, pause the video and try giving your own answer. Take as much time as you need, alright, to answer the question with your own information. And once you have finished giving your answer, play the video again, so that you can listen to my answer. I'm going to be answering my own questions so as to give you a model, an example as to how to answer the questions, all right? But the idea is that you pause the video after the question and that you practice giving your own answer with your own information, all right? So in Unit 3, we're going to be talking about uh, how to stay in shape, remedies, and stuff like that. So the first question is, how do you stay in shape? How do you stay in shape? Well, I usually walk everywhere I go. Uh, I go to the gym twice a week. I, um, I'm going to the gym three times a week. I'm uh, using my bike everywhere I go. Or you can simply say, I'm not doing anything to stay in shape because I don't have too much time, all right? I don't have enough, enough, enough time, I'm working too much, so I'm not doing anything to stay in shape. Remember that when, when we describe the things that we usually do, it's better to use adverbs of frequency, all right? Like usually, generally, often, never, sometimes, etc. So, do you get regular exercise? Do you get regular exercise? Yes, I do. Actually, I, I'm going to the gym twice a week or I'm playing basketball th 
three times a week or I'm playing basketball four times a week or mm, not not really I'm not I'm not getting enough exercise because um, I'm studying too much uh, I'm working too much and I don't have enough time to do regular exercise remember guys the idea is that you give a little bit more information not simply say yes I do no I don't yes I am no I'm not the idea is that you answer with a sure positive or negative answer but after that try to explain why you are doing something or why you're not doing something give a little bit more information encourage the conversation all right try to give a little bit more information all right now what sports are you playing these days I mean are you playing soccer basketball tennis what sports are you playing these days well actually I'm not playing any sport because I'm not really into sports I don't like playing sports or well I'm playing basketball I'm playing basketball like on Saturdays or three times a week or whenever I have the chance or I'm playing soccer on Sunday mornings I usually play soccer on Sunday mornings so that's what I'm doing these days I'm playing basketball on Thursday or I'm playing soccer on uh, Saturdays or I'm not playing any sports I'm not playing any sports because uh, I don't have I don't have much time for playing sports all right so you remember you can say what you're doing or what you're not doing and then explain why all right give more information are you trying to lose weight are you trying to lose weight yes I am I'm going to the gym three times a week I'm playing soccer, I'm playing basketball, I'm playing tennis to to lose weight. And um, I'm also cutting down on sugar. Remember, cut down on to reduce the consumption of. So you can say if you are trying to not to eat too much sugar or not to eat too much uh, carbohydrates or fast food, you can say I'm cutting down on sugar, I'm cutting down on fast food I'm cutting down on sodas alright so that's something you can do to lose weight not only do exercises but also cut down on foods cut, cut down on sugar cut down on, on sodas cut down on fast food cut down on fry on fries so are you are you trying to lose weight yes I am what are you what are you doing to lose weight I'm going to the gym twice a week I'm playing basketball I'm walking everywhere I go, I'm drinking lots of water and I'm cutting down on fast food, I'm cutting down on sugar, I'm cutting down on ice cream, okay, because maybe you ate too much ice cream, you were eating too much ice cream, like, I don't know, one, two, two or three ice creams a day, and now you're trying to cut down on ice cream or you're trying to cut down on sugar or you're trying to cut down on fast food, right? Now, let's talk about stress now how do you cope with stress how do you cope with stress what do you do when you are stressed what do you do how do you cope with the stress means what do you do when you are stressed how do you cope with the stress well usually when I'm stressed I like to listen to music um, I usually talk to my friends to you know tell them ab about my problems and it makes me feel better it helps me feel better uh, also when I'm stressed I try to breathe in hold my breath for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly so that is called control meditation deep breathing that's a, a, a relaxation relaxation technique so Another thing I do when I'm stressed is I lay down for a while or I'm, sometimes I take a nap or I don't know you can mention whatever you do when you are stressed all right you talk to your friends you listen to music you breathe in deeply you you listen to music you go for a walk maybe you play any sport those are things that we do to cope with the stress to feel better when we are stressed, all right. Mm. What kind of exercise do you usually do? 
What kind of exercise do you usually do? Well, I usually play basketball once a week on, on Thursday, or I usually play soccer on, on Saturday afternoons, or, well, I don't, I don't really do any kind of exercise because I'm not really into sports. I don't have much time for playing sports, all right? Always try to give a little bit more information, okay? Let me see next page. Okay, now we're going to talk about aches and pains, you see? We're going to talk about a fever, have a bad cough, have a stomachache, have a toothache, get a headache, have a cold and a, a sore throat, get feel sick, have allergies and a sneeze, all right? Now, we're going to talk about minor health problems. Now, tell me, um, what do you do when you have a headache? What do you do when you have a headache? What do you do when you get a headache? Well, when I get a headache, I usually take a Dolex or an aspirin or I always lay down for a while, okay? Try to, to rephrase the question, all right? If the question is, what do you do when you get a headache, rephrase the question. When I get a headache, I usually, I always, I sometimes, all right? I sometimes go to the doctor when I he get a headache. I usually take a Dolex when I get a headache. I usually take an aspirin when I get a headache. Or I sometimes lay down, you know? I sometimes, oh my God, I'm tired, I got a headache. And I lay down for a while, you know what I mean? Lay down for a while. Also, when we're tired, it's a good idea to lay down for a little while, all right? Um, how about bad cough? <laughs> you see, that's a bad cough. What do you do? What do you take when you have a bad cough? Well, when I have a bad cough, I usually take some, I don't know, some syrups or whatever you take when you have a bad cough. I usually, uh, me, me personally, I usually never take anything when I have a bad cough. Bad water, lots of water. I try to walk a lot. That's what I do when I have a bad cough. But if you take anything, any kind of medication or medicine, you can mention when I have a bad cough, I usually take something like that. How about a stomachache? What do you do when you have a stomachache? Well, when I have a stomachache, um, I usually take uh, a Dolex or I usually try to drink lots of water. I usually try not to eat too much food. I usually lay down for a while till I feel better. That's it. How about a toothache? What do you do when you have a toothache? Oh my God, I have a toothache. It then hurts. Well, when I have a toothache, I usually go to see a dentist. I sometimes take an aspirin or I sometimes take a Dalex. Although I don't usually get toothache, but when I have a toothache, I go to see a dentist or I take some medi medication, some medicine, right? Mm, are you allergy to anything? Are you allergy to anything? Um, well, not, not really. I'm not really allergy to anything. I can eat pretty much everything. I can drink pretty much everything. I have no problems with allergy. I'm not allergy to anything. Or you can say, yes, I am. I'm allergy to seafood. I'm allergy to the dust. You know, sometimes when people sneeze, smell dust, they start like sneezing. Like <laughs> or when, when they smell a cat or a dog, they start sneezing because they are allergy to dogs. So are you allergy to anything? And you say, yes, I am. And you mention the thing or the food that you're allergy to. But remember, always try to give a little bit more information, okay? Now, what do you take when you have a fever? Well, when I have a fever, I take an ibuprofeno or an aspirin or a Doles Fortes. Um, what do you do if you get a really bad cold? What do you do if you get a really bad cold? Well, if I get a really bad cold, I think, you know, I, I'll go to a doctor or when I get a, if I get a really bad cold, I go to see a doctor, I go to get a checkup with my doctor, 
I take some medications, you know, some medicine. I lay down for a while till I feel better. Okay. Uh, what else? Okay, let me let me go to another question here. Okay, free talk. Okay. Are you taking care of your health? That's what we're going to talk about about your health. Now, how much exercise are you getting these days? See, free talk number three. How much exercise are you getting these days? Well, to be honest, I'm not getting enough exercise because I'm pretty busy these days. I'm, I'm taking the finals at the university. I'm studying English. I'm pretty busy at work, so I'm not doing any kind of exercise. I'm not doing much uh, when it comes to exercising because I'm pretty busy. Or, well, actually, I'm playing basketball twice a week, and uh, I'm walking. I'm walking everywhere I go, especially when I go to classes at the university. I try to to always walk to get there on foot because that's a good way to do some exercise to feel better, to be healthier, right? To be healthier. Um, what kinds of food do you generally eat? What kinds of food do you generally eat? So you can start talking about healthy and unhealthy food, right? What kind of food do you generally eat? Well, I usually eat healthy food. I love eating vegetables like tomatoes, uh, cucumbers, uh, lettuce, onions, and a little bit of garlic too, you know? Lots of water, rice, chicken, meat. Or I sometimes eat, eat uh, some yum food like hamburgers or hot dogs, especially pizza. I love it. Even though it's unhealthy, I love eating pizza, but not very much. Um, are you getting enough sleep these days? Are you getting enough sleep these days? ¿Está durmiendo lo suficiente estos días? Are you getting enough sleep these days? Well, yes, I am. Actually, I'm sleeping eight hours an, uh, a day. I'm sleeping eight hours a day or I'm sleeping eight hours every night. Or, um, no, nah, not really. I'm not getting enough sleep this day because I'm only sleeping like four hours a night or five hours at night. So, I, I don't, I, I need, I feel actually restless, you know. I need to get more rest. I need to sleep more. I'm not getting enough sleep, only three or four hours. Why? Because you spend too much time on Facebook, you see. Go get some sleep, my friend. Very good. Now, how much water do you drink? How much water do you drink? Well, I'm, I'm drinking lots of water. I think I drink, I'm drinking like 8 to 10 glasses of water a day. Or, well, actually, I'm not drinking enough water. I'm drinking like 3 or 4 glasses of water a day. I'm not drinking enough water. How often do you get headaches? Oh my God, I got a headache. How often do you get headaches? Well, not pretty often. I get a headache like, I don't know, every three or four months or, well, I get a headache like once a week, twice a week because I'm pretty stressed in my, in my job. So I get a headache pretty often. How often do you get a checkup? You know, how often do you get a checkup? Checkup means how often do you go to see a doctor to get a checkup, okay? How often do you get a checkup? Well, I usually get a checkup like once or twice a year. Or I usually get a checkup once a month, three times a year, you know, talking about frequencies. What do you do when you are stressed? What do you do when you are stressed? Well, when I'm stressed, I usually listen to music. I always talk to my friends. When I'm stressed, I like to lay down for a while till I feel better. When I'm stressed, I like to walk around. I like to play any sport. Uh, I like to, I, or I don't like to talk to anyone when I'm stressed. How often do you get colds? Well, I usually get colds like twice a year. When it's like a rainy season, it's raining a lot, I usually get, get colds. Or I almost never get colds. I'm, I'm a healthy person, so I almost never get colds. 
if you're sick or overtired, too much tired, if, you, if you're sick or overtired, what do you do? Well, if I'm sick or overtired, I usually go to see a doctor. I take some energizers, you know, some energizing drinks like uh, Red Bulls or I don't know what an hour or something like that. That's it. Now, guys, there are some interesting questions here on the on the workbook too, and I'm gonna be asking you a couple of them. What do you do when you're sick? Well, when I'm sick, if I'm really sick, I go to see a doctor. Or when I'm sick, I usually take some medic. Medi some medicine like aspirins and aspirin or adolix or whatever you take. Um, what do you do if you have a bad cough? Well, you have, if I have a bad cough, I usually take, I don't know, you mentioned whatever you take. Okay, let me see if I have, okay. Are you feeling sleepy right now? Like, and when you don't get enough sleep, you feel sleepy. Like, are you feeling sleepy right now? Well, not, not really. I'm not feeling sleepy right now. I feel a little anxious and excited. You know, excited, excited because I'm I'm taking this oral exam. Or no, I'm not really feeling sleepy right now. How often do you take naps on weekends? You know, take a nap means take a short sleep. In Spanish, we say tomar una siesta. How, how often do you take naps on weekends? Well, usually on Saturdays, I, I take a nap at about 2 p.m. And especially on Sundays after lunch, I always, always take a nap on Sunday after lunch. Do you ever sleep in class or at work? You know, full ass sleep. Do you ever sleep in class or at work? No, no, I never sleep in class or at work, you know, especially at work. I can never fall asleep there. Uh, are you sleeping well these days? Are you sleeping well these days? Yes, I am. I'm sleeping well. I'm sleeping eight hours, nine hours, sometimes ten hours at, at, at night. Or not, not really. I'm a little stressed, so I'm not sleeping well. I'm sleeping like four five, sometimes three hours at night. Um, okay, let me see if I can get another question over here. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you some activities from Touchstone Ar Arcade, the website that I always ask you to visit on, on, on Google, Touchstone Arcade. Now, we're gonna do some listening comprehension exercises, some grammar exercises there for you to uh, go a little deeper uh, with the topics in unit number three, all right? Wait a minute. I'm going to share the screen with you. All right, there you go. Now, this one here, this is Touchstone Arcade. This is the the... Like, it's like a platform, you know, like, that you can find on Google for free. You go to Google and you type in Touchstone Arcade. Now, we're going to do some practice on unit number three, health. Okay, simple present and present continuous. Now, choose the right word, simple present and present continuous. Click on the correct verb. Remember, we use the simple present to talk about routines, habits, or things that we do repetitively. And we, we use the present continuous to talk about about things that are happening at the moment of speaking or that are happening about these days, all right? Now, I'm trying or I try to eat a balanced diet every day. Every day we have a routine here, so it should be I try. Let me check. You see? Well, usually when you have like every day, usually once a, twice a, it's usually simple present. But when you have like these days, nowadays, it's present continuous, all right? So I'm trying to eat a, I try to eat a balanced diet every day. I'm wanting or I want to try a new sport. I think I want, I want to try a new sport. Are you swimming? Do you swim a lot these days? You see, these days, these days. So the question is here, are you swimming a lot these days? You see, very good. Next one. 
my parents usually aren't exercising or don't exercise very much frequent so the answer here is my parents usually don't exercise very much there we go next one we are playing or we play soccer three times a week this is a routine so of course it's simple pressing we play soccer three times a week do you go or are you going to the gym every week every week routine so it's do you go do you go to the gym every week very good I'm needing or I need to get in shape I'm needing or I need to get in shape I need to get in shape I need to get in shape these days, you see, nowadays, person continues, these days I'm walking to lose weight, or I walk. These, these days I'm walking to lose weight. There you go. Very good. Wait a moment. Okay, now I'm going to show you another exercise here. Unit 3. Um, joining clauses with if and when. Joining clauses with if and when joining clauses with if and when match the, the the clauses there is one extra clause so I'm all I always stay in shape mm. when, when when I feel sick let me see when I feel sick I always stay in bed Let, let's try like this when I feel sick I always stay in bed I tried I try not to talk when I have the flu. Let's try. What do you do if you What do you do if I don't know if you it could be if what do you do if you if you have allergies? My whole body feels awful. If I get a sore throat, if I have to cough a lot, if I have to cough a lot, I leave the room. What do you take? when you have a cold okay so when I feel sick I always stay in bed I try not to talk when I have the flu what do you do if you have allergies my whole body feels awful if I have a sore throat if I have to cough a lot I leave the room what do you take when you have a cold let me check Oop, you see I got two answers wrong so you see then you go to start again and you can like start trying and trying and trying till you get it right that's the idea you have several options here and there is one extra clause so you gotta try over and over till you get six out of six okay that's it now health joining clauses encouraging this is very important encouraging conversations what do you hear now click on the audio icon listen then click on the the best response to encourage the conversation remember the best way to encourage a conversation is by asking open open questions like what where why All right now you're gonna listen here to the question to the comment and then try to ask the best follow-up questions okay here you go I can't stop sneezing I have really bad allergies I can't stop sneezing I have really bad allergies. My mother is a sleepwalker. My mother is a sleepwalker. I always remember my dreams. I always remember my dreams. I like to read before I go to sleep. 
I like to read before I go to sleep. When I eat a lot before I go to bed, I snore a lot. When I eat a lot before I go to bed, I snore a lot. I feel stressed. I feel stressed. So you see the idea with uh, to en with encouraging people, encouraging conversations is to ask open open questions like why, how come, when, etc. Let me see if I can get another exercise here. Um, thing. Okay. Well, guys, uh, that is the end of uh, free talk number three for. Book number two, unit three, free talk number three. We talked about um, like health, sleep habits. We talked about uh, what we are doing to stay in shape, if you are getting enough sleep a day, and how to answer questions about your health problems. Like, what do you do when you have a uh, get a headache, when you have a stomachache, when you got the flu? And the, uh, as I told you, the idea is that you listen to the question. Pause the video, try giving your own answers, and, and then click the, play the video again to listen to the answer and to compare, to see how you can do it better. Not to memorize the answer, but to understand the question, get the question, and then be able to give a complete and full answer. All right? So, guys, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Get ready for the free talk number four. I see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.